Hello and welcome to Jirusage Academy's YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about four important judgments on speaker's power to disqualify under the Constitution of India. This video is especially helpful for people who are preparing for CLAT PG 2024 or if you're just interested in knowing about the power that a speaker holds in terms of the 10th schedule of the Constitution, you can check this video out. So let's start first of all with the legal provisions which are relevant for this. So if you look at the 10th schedule, if you look at para 6, it basically tells us that on questions of disqualification on ground of defection, who will be the authority to decide? So paragraph 6 clearly says that if any question arises as to whether an MP or MLA has undergone disqualification because of defection under the 10th schedule, then the question will be referred either to the speaker or to the chairman, depending on whether it is from Lok Sabha or Rajya Sabha. And the decision of the speaker or chairman shall be final. So this is the genesis of the whole debate that what is the power of the speaker because in a lot of judgments in the Supreme Court, this has been an issue. And as you can see that in recently in 2023, a very important judgment came in Subhash Desai case, which was about the uh, Maharashtra Uddhav Thakre uh, issue in which there was a split in the party and the decision of disqualification had to be taken by the speaker. So this issue is very recent also and quite relevant for your CLAT PG exam. So let's see four judgments which will be relevant for you guys, including both landmark as well as recent cases. So the first judgment is the case of Kehoto Holohan versus Zakilu. Now this was a very important judgment because this case actually challenged some of the provisions of the 10th schedule which was added by the 52nd amendment. So in this judgment, apart from deciding on a lot of other things, the Supreme Court five judge bench also held that first of all, they upheld the 10th schedule. Then they also held that the speaker's power to decide questions on disqualification is also constitutional. So this is the case which is the genesis of it all because in later judgments, the Supreme Court actually deviated from this point a little bit and this is why even in the latest judgment in 2023, this has been one of the issues. Now let's see the second judgment on this issue. That is the case of Nabam Rebia versus Deputy Speaker Arunachal Pradesh. Now this is a 2016 five judge bench decision. Now this judgment was about that even though Speaker has the power to disqualify MLAs and MPs depending on if they have incurred defection or not, but the court was also answering an issue that if the removal of the speaker himself is pending in the house, then is it correct for that speaker to decide petitions under the 10th schedule? So in light of this, the court concluded that in this particular judgment, the speaker, Mr. Rebia's decision to disqualify rebel MLAs was an attempt to overcome voting by all the then members to evade his own disqualification. So the court basically deviated from the finding of Kehoto Holohan and this is where the problem began. Now let's come to the third judgment on this issue that is the case of Kesham Megan Chandra Singh versus the Honorable Speaker Manipur Legislative Assembly. Now this is a fairly recent judgment this is from 2020 and in this case although it's a very short judgment it's a three judge bench case in this case the Supreme Court identified that when we talk about a uh, speaker is a quasi-judicial authority who decides disqualification petitions under the 10th schedule. He may not be a very impartial arbitrator because he does belong to a particular party. So in this case, the court recommended the parliament to amend the constitution regarding this role of the speaker. And the court suggested that an independent tribu tribunal may be better suited to substitute the speaker in deciding matters of disqualification under the 10th schedule. So this case also becomes relevant because this case was also about the special position of speaker and how it has been under debate with respect to disqualification petitions under the 10th schedule. Now we come to the last judgment and the most recent one, the case of Subhash Desai versus Principal Secretary Government of Maharashtra and others. Now this case is independently also very, very important. But one of the very small issues in this judgment was again with respect to the power of speaker. Because in this case also, the disqualification petitions were pending before the speaker and the motion for removal of the speaker was also underway. So the issue again was that in such a situation where the resolution for removal of the speaker is persisting, should that speaker be deciding upon adjudicating disqualification petitions or not? So the court basically said that the case of Kehoto Holohan and Nepam Arabia are 
in stark contrast with each other and that is why the court has referred Nabam Rebia to a larger bench. Now since in Subhash Desai case was also a five judge bench decision, it could not authoritatively decide this issue because Nabam Rebia was also a five judge bench decision. So this was the last and the most important case because of which this topic has become relevant for your CLAT PG examination. If you like this video, please like and share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.